hello, my name is Dr. Brian Shiluli. I'm a medical officer, and uh, today we are partnering with the Ponea Health, and we'll be talking about breastfeeding, a very interesting topic. So for low breast milk production, we have several approaches we can use to help the mother have adequate milk production. Uh, first of all, we want to have a very stable environment where this mother is emotionally stable. So that means we are giving her social support, we are encouraging her, we are caring for her, showing love to her, giving her congratulations for getting a newborn, just setting her to be stable in that environment where she's uh, gotten a baby so that uh, she, have, she has stimulation of milk production. And then uh, we want also to ensure that the mother has enough time with the baby as soon as possible. The baby is born, they have that bonding. We know it stimulates the, baby to the mother's uh, breast milk uh, production and also having early uh, suckling, which stimulates the production of the milk. And then for those mothers who don't respond to this support, social support and emotional support, we would want to consider other medications. And uh, experience has shown that uh, cocoa has a role in uh, milk production. So many people encourage you to take a lot of cocoa after delivery. Uh, and then uh, we have some other medications like metoclopramide, uh, which has shown to increase production of prolactin uh, by stimulating pituitary gland. And then uh, this increased production of milk from the alveolar tissue of the breast. So I think that's the major one we have. Though some studies also show that we can use domperidone, but commonly used to use uh, betoclopramide. Uh, the side effects, uh, we don't have any major ones that have been uh, reported uh, as far as I'm concerned. We encourage the mother to, when they do breastfeeding, they ensure that the nipples are very clean. What we do is that after you breastfeed, you want to clean the breast with uh, some warm water, and then you express some milk, and then you, you on top of the nipple, and you allow it to air dry. Because the mouth of the baby has some bacteria that if you allow them to stay on the nipple, they are likely to colonize the nipple and then cause some infection. So we want to encourage that they air dry every time they after breastfeeding. And then uh, we, we also want this mother to be hygienically clean every single moment because there's that chance of cross infection from the skin uh, bacteria to the breast. Uh, the dons, we, we discourage use of uh, scented uh, uh, soaps to the breast uh, most of the time. So acute mastitis refers to bacterial infection on the breast tissue. Uh, mostly because of the bacteria that uh, colonize the skin. So you tend to get it because of uh, if you have some cracks or uh, ulcerations on the nipple of the breast. So a patient will tend to have a very painful breast. They can have some, it can be warm when you touch your it. Uh, then uh, on advanced stages, you can have abscess coming from the breast. Pass, I mean pass coming from the breast. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this episode and discussion. You can book my services through ponea.com.